Hi, I'm Dustin Abbott, and I'm here today to give you a review of the Coro dual leather harness system for carrying a couple of cameras at the same time. Now, over the years, I have shot a lot of weddings and even more events. And if you are someone who has done those things, you realize pretty quickly that it's, it's kind of hard to do an adequate job, particularly if you're shooting more as a solo shooter. It's very hard to do that job with only one camera and one lens because in many cases, if you're indoors, you need to be working with something with a faster maximum aperture. And so in many cases, that's something like this 70 to 180 millimeter f2.8 or 70 to 200 millimeter. But you also need something on the wide end as well. And so uh, often, for example, I've shot many weddings and events with a 24 to 70 millimeter and a 70 to 200 millimeter. That's great, but of course that requires you to either be switching lenses, not always a possibility, or it means carrying two cameras. As you probably know though, it gets very difficult to carry two uh, cameras as a part of that. And so having a, some kind of carry system where you can distribute that weight to where you're not completely worn out after a few hours of shooting is incredibly important. And maybe you're a person, I've used like bigger uh, harness type systems before that look more like flak vest, but maybe you're looking for something that's a little bit more stylish. And that's where a leather strap like this comes in because it allows you to carry a couple of cameras with actually a tremendous amount of comfort. And as you can see, a really great amount of versatility in terms of bringing that camera up quickly and shooting with it, getting it up into position. But it also does it without a whole lot of bulk to your body. So we're going to jump in a little bit closer and take a look at some of the features of these leather straps and to see whether or not it's the design that might work for you. So we've got some seriously well-made kit here. As you can see, this is made out of very thick, robust leather here. Nice detail stitching, which um, is a nice look. A few of the things that I like as a part of this is that, number one, there is a, a pretty broad range of adjustment that is available here. Um, basically almost like a belt that is a part of the shoulder strap. I don't always find that to be true with leather type straps and so they tend to be a little bit less flexible in terms of adjustment. That's not true here so I think of that as being a great positive. Another thing that's also a positive is that the juncture point at, the, at your back where all of this is stretching out because it is, um, it is leather like this and all of these are, are smooth, it actually rests easily in, this, in the center of your back without any kind of friction point there. And so I also find that to be a positive for real world use. The addition of uh, hooks here is also beneficial where this comes down off your body, just gives you more versatility on something that you can hang from that. I also think that if you were so inclined, you could run a little strap in between. If you were walking more distance to just kind of uh, secure in the middle of your chest, like it often happens with a backpack. So it does give you an option for providing that friction point, even if it's not built into the design. I also like the fact that you have got lots of freedom here for moving up and down. It makes bringing the camera up to shoot very easy and I've never had any hindrance with that. I'm also impressed with our mount and securing system here. First of all, uh, all of the hardware is great. This is a you know heavy duty, high quality piece, but it's also really simple, simple to use. So what makes this great is that you can easily detach that and you know either on the bottom of your camera or in this case, you know I'm working with a, uh, this is by small rig. You, some of you have seen me do my reviews. So anyway, it's easy to thread either into the tripod mount or onto, you know, in this case, onto my actual grip. And so then it is that quick to just be hooked up. Now that leads us to our kind of security strap. And so obviously that's an additional feature, but it may help you to be comfortable with it. Now on the Canon body, um, I've got a little bit of a issue here in that it doesn't quite fit through the side lugs. And so in this case, I, uh, because I also use Peak Design straps, I've got the Peak Design anchors on there all the time. For me, it's a piece of cake to just drop that into that and, you know, since it's just to secure. I'll also note that with Sony lugs, it's no problem because it actually fits right into the side mount on the camera itself. So uh, no problem there. So as far as our hardware here and our connection points, everything is really nicely executed. There is some uh, flexibility in terms of adjusting the strap and everything is, I mean, I don't, I can't see this wearing out or breaking at any point. It is really, really heavy grade material. 
It's not maybe as sleek as some of the other leather camera strap designs I've used, but it definitely is a high degree of functionality and sturdy, uh, almost like the tack for a horse here. And, and so maybe you are the pack horse when it comes to doing your photography, but it looks pretty stylish on nonetheless. So as you can see, really, really nice construction. And as you can see, looking from the back, everything centers there in the back without any kind of discomfort point there. And so it works really, really well for event type things. You do have to become aware, uh, as with any system, that if you have camera gear dangling from you, you have to be a conscious of that space. And so you're not banging it around. And so that's obviously important. Other thing that I will also note is that with a system like this, I don't like it as well for long hikes because what I found, find is that eventually I just start to get sore because I've got camera gear that is bouncing off of my hip bones. You could tighten everything up and make them ride a little bit higher, but at the end of the day, I just find that that kind of bouncing with repetity is not my, my favorite way to do a hike. But for shooting events where I'm, it's not so much about me moving fast in motion, but just moving around, but wanting quick access to gear without setting it down, without forgetting it, but also keeping it very accessible. Something like this is extremely useful. And I actually find that the various design elements here are better thought out than many such systems that I have used and reviewed before. And so I really like the functionality of this particular leather set. I also like the price. There are a variety of other colors that are there. Um, this is what they call a tan. There's a brown, a black, and I believe one other color as well that I can't remember off the top of my head. But for 79 bucks, a great value. And if you're looking for a you know, somewhat stylish way to carry a couple of cameras for portrait shoots or for weddings or events, take a look at the Coro store and you can take a look and see if it's something that would work for you. I'm Dustin Abbott. If you look in the description, I'll throw a link to their store so you can go and check that out for yourself. And beyond that, of course, typical links to follow me on social media, to become a patron, sign up for my newsletter. And if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button right here on YouTube. Have a great day.